everybody to today's guitar lesson on how to play Love and Hate by Michael Kiwanuka. If you know your bar chords, this is a really straightforward song, especially structure-wise. The chord progressions stay the same throughout almost the entire song. And the song is really similar to Cold Little Heart, which you can check out right here if you haven't seen my tutorial on that song yet. Um, if you know how to play that song, this is going to be a walk in the park. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at this song. First of all, the chords that we need are exactly as in Cold Little Heart. G minor, which is a bar chord coming from E minor on the third fret. So we have three, five, five, three, three, three. Then we need an F chord, but we're not going to play the high E string, just exactly the same as in Cold Little Heart. And that is a thumb pressing down on the first fret of the low E string. Then three, three with our ring and pinky finger, middle finger, second fret on the G string, and then index finger on the B string and at the same time, first fret of course, we try to block the E string so it doesn't ring, okay? This is like an F but without the highest note in there. Then we also have a C chord with our pinky as we know it from Cold Little Heart. Um, muted low E string, we lay our thumb gently across the E string so it doesn't ring. And then three ring finger on the A string, two middle finger on the D string, open G string, first fret, index finger B string, third fret, E, high E string. We also need a C minor, which is a bar chord coming from A minor on the third fret. We block the E string again, and then three, five, five, four, three, C minor. And last but not least, we need a D9. We just put our, so we have, we've got like um, a C shape from before, slide it to the fifth fret, and then we put our pinky on the third um, fifth fret of the G string. Okay, so we have muted low E string, five, four, five, three, and muted high E string as well. Okay, D9, really dissonant but cool chord. So our chord progression for the majority of the song is going to be G minor, F, Um, we're going to play every chord for two bars and the strumming pattern it always surrounds the measures of two bars okay so the first part of the strumming pattern is always going to be down down up down up down 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 okay down down up down up down 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 and the second part is always going to be down up down up up down 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 okay again down up down kind of switches it up from time to time, um, but this is the basic strumming pattern that he uses. So again, first time always down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 okay? And we apply this on every chord. So each chord is being played for two bars. Sounds like this. To do is to add some hammer-ons especially on the F and on the C minor for example it can sound something like this okay so we play down down up down up hammer on down strong okay whichever finger you like. So on the C minor we can either use our pinky on the 5th fret of the G string or our index finger on the 4th fret of the B string. Just some variations that you can fill here and there. We do this a couple of times but then before going into the chorus we're going to stop our chord progression on the C minor where we have the bam bam and so on. And then for our chorus we're just going to play G minor to F to C minor to D9, okay? And for the first two chords, we're going to use our first strumming pattern. So down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, single strum, C minor, S 
single strum on the D9. Okay? Then we're going to repeat everything again once. And then after the second chorus, we come to a little bridge um, where he sings, and I can see that place of trouble. And here we're going to play G minor for one bar, F for one bar, and then our C shape with the pinky for two bars. And we're going to repeat this chord progression four times. So it's going to sound like this. Um, strumming pattern on the G minor and the F major 7, our first part of the strumming pattern on the C. Of course, we're going to play both parts of the strumming pattern. Sounds like this. chord progression again for two times so G minor F C minor G minor and then we're just going to stay on the G minor for the rest of the song as our outro and that's already the whole song so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you can now play the song hope to see you again in future tutorials thanks for watching and goodbye